What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but really hasn't been a lot going on. The weather's been wet and cold, so can't go to the skate park, and my brakes still are not working. So, a little update on that. Um, basically, I have went through two different master cylinders now. I'm on my third one. I replaced one, got brake pressure back in the pedal, so I figured I was good to go. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Got pressure back in the brake pedal, so I thought I was good to go. I drove the car to work, which was about an hour away from the house, and the entire time there and the entire time back, the car shook uh, viciously. So at that point, I put the car back up on jack stands, how she sits now and i realized that this wheel here and that wheel over there were both locked up and if you swapped the lines at the master um oh let me back up those two wheels were locked up so i went to go bleed them and uh one side wouldn't release any pressure but the other side would so i swapped my lines at the brake master and the issue traded places it swapped sides so after that, I was like, F this, I'm going to get a new brake master. Um, you know, kind of narrowed it down and I thought really that was the only thing it could have been. <clears throat> so got a new one and when I put the new new one in, the second new one, I was back to square one, no pressure whatsoever. So currently, let me switch you guys around. So currently we've got the new new brake master cylinder on the bench. I've been bench bleeding it so just trying to get all of these little air bubbles to uh, come out and once no more air bubbles come out and you can't press it more than an eighth of an inch uh, we will take it off the vise and throw it back on the car we'll hook the lines back up and then we will continue bleeding the rest of the system to see if we can't get pressure in the pedal and ultimately a working brake system so i'm gonna go ahead and finish bleeding this and then we're gonna throw it on the car and we'll start bleeding the brakes and see if we can get our pedal back if we get the pedal back we'll take it off jack stands and we'll go do a test drive and just make sure that the car stops the way it's supposed to and hopefully everything works and uh, i can drive the car to work tomorrow because it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow and i really really want to drive the car it's been too long, so let's get to work. So, <clears throat> as you just saw in that time lapse, hopefully, there's no more air bubbles coming out and I can barely press this thing in super stiff so <clears throat> at this point I believe we're supposed to throw it back on the car as per the directions so let's get that done All right, so new brake master installed on the car. Um, from here, we're gonna go ahead and throw these brake lines back on. Actually, stop. Before I do any of that, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the car. I'm gonna press the pedal a couple of times with these plugs still in because I can put a lot more pressure on that pedal with my foot than I can with my hand on that piston. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that a couple more times and see if we get any more air bubbles out. And if we do, cool, hopefully that'll solve our issue and uh, we'll move forward to bleeding the rest of the system. But 
I'm gonna set you guys up right here so you guys can watch to see how many airbubbles come out for me. So I'm gonna hop in the car and press the pedal and we'll see how many air bubbles come out. All right, pedal did not move at all. Very firm, very stiff. Probably should be because it is completely blocked off by those two plugs, but that's a good sign. So uh, let's hook up these lines and get going on bleeding the rest of the system. There is the uh, brake master cylinder installed and bench bled. Now we're gonna hop in the car and see what the pedal feels like. And then we'll continue on to bleeding the rest of the system. Quick little look at that. So all those lines are nice and tight. Threw a little extra fluid in the reservoir. Now, theoretically, I should have some sort of pressure in the pedal. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm getting something. Okay, that is promising. We've got some pressure in the pedal. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and bleed on all four corners and just kinda make sure that everything is working as it should. That wheel is rolling. So that wheel is like locked up. Now I'm not sure why that is. You can hear that thing is dragging awfully bad. And then my guess is this wheel is going to be locked up too. Yep. Oh man. Oh god damn. Yeah, I'm going to need new rotors and most definitely new pads. Cuz whatever whatever's causing my brakes to stick completely toasted them. So mm.
All right, so we're looking at the front right. Um, I'm just gonna crack this line loose really quick and see if I can get some pressure to relieve off of the caliper. And if we can spin this rotor freely, I am gonna go ahead and pump the brakes up and see if uh, it gets stuck again. Let's see. Ooh, put it this way. Okay, we've definitely got fluid at the caliper. Definitely couldn't move it like that before, so. And one thing I wanna mention is like, I don't know if that's the correct way to do that. I just know that the piston's right there. So I just put a little bit of pressure on it and now we are able to move this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start bleeding all four corners and once we're done i'm gonna check and see um if the rotors are still stuck and then we will throw the wheels on i don't know why i don't just talk to you guys but uh as long as the rotors aren't stuck we're gonna throw the wheels on and lower the car down and then we'll take it for a test drive all right so i have the brakes pumped up and pressure is held on them so now we're gonna see if we get any fluid. Yes, we did get some. Now I'm gonna pump the brakes up again. All right, round two. This is round number three of bleeding. So we'll see if we get any more air. Just a couple of air bubbles. Okay, do it a couple more times. I'm gonna do this one without the line. I wanna see what kind of pressure it's got. Okay, right, well. There we go, there was no air there, and that was kind of what I was looking for. So, I think I'm just gonna put you guys on a time lapse, and we're gonna do all other three corners, and then we'll uh, go ahead and see what everything feels like after that. Like a 
peacock. All right, anyway, um, I got the brakes bled and I went ahead and uh, messed around with that rotor a little bit. I Basically what I did is I just backed in the piston a little bit. It was putting a little too much pressure on the uh, rotor. And this one also is moving freely along with this one. Oh, oh nope, I lied. That one is uh, still dragging a little bit. And this one moves freely. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this front right and see why it's still compressed a little bit. I might just have to do the same thing I did to that side to this one. But that's okay. All right. So car is back on the ground. Wheels are tight. We're going to take it for a quick little spin around the block and just kind of test the brakes. Uh, see how the car rolls. See if it feels like the brakes are still dragging. And to see if the car stops the way it's supposed to. Um, I did notice that that wheel and that wheel are still sticking just the slightest bit, which I really, I don't understand. I really don't, I don't get why they would do that. But um, I'm hoping that just, you know, a few miles of driving will kind of, I don't know, loosen everything up or free it up. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're going to test drive it and see what it does. All right. Make sure that I'm not going to run anything important over. Just kind of look underneath the car really quick. That's good. Shut the door. Got me in right. Okay. stops better. Pedal feel is a lot better. It doesn't roll horrible. So when I come to a stop, it doesn't like want to free roll backwards.
so it literally feels like the car is stopping it still self still not sure what the hell is going on but i'm gonna jack the car up again and see if these wheels are still locked up well as i suspected ugh, completely locked up so this one is completely locked up that one is completely locked up so both of my front wheels are not wanting to move. They're both under pressure. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we, we got a little bit further. We have good pedal feel and the brakes work properly now. They definitely stop, but they don't release now. So that's the next issue that we've got to figure out. So this is where I'm going to leave off tonight. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and leave a comment down below if you think you know what my issue is. Um, I'm going to be racking my brain and just digging through forums, looking on the internet, trying to find any explanation to why my car is doing this. But I think that's going to leave it. That's, that's where we're going to leave off for now. So I was... I was sitting inside, racking my brain on it some more, and I just had to know if the rears were also locked up. Now, let me let down the e-brake, because obviously if the e-brake is up, they're not gonna move, but yeah, man, even they don't have as much drag as the front, but they're still locking up. So that's all four wheels. All four corners are sticking. Feels like the car wants to stop itself. It's definitely fighting itself. So we're gonna keep doing some research, figure out what's going on. Um, I do have one idea You'll notice right there that brake line is a little burnt. Now the actual like shielding on the line isn't melted or anything like that. It didn't get like super burnt, but I'm wondering if that was enough to collapse the line and cause these issues that we're getting. But if that was the case, why are all four corners sticking and not just the channels controlled by channel B? on the master <sighs> i really don't know but yeah that's that's it for tonight i'm over it so talk to you guys later